Hey there, animation enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm excited to share with you a project that I've been working on for the past seven days, a stunning floating cars animation created entirely in Prisma 3D. From concept to completion, I'll take you through my entire process. So let's dive right in. Day one concept and planning day one was all about brainstorming and planning. I wanted to create a futuristic scene with floating cars, so I sketched out some ideas and decided on a color scheme and overall aesthetic day two filming on day two. I started the filming process. Then I just have to look for environment that is perfect for this. I found one. Then I decided to capture my footage and with the art of demonstrating that I'm using superpower to lift those cars. Day three camera tracking day three was all about adding camera tracking to our footage. I import my clip on AView editor and I select the camera tracking effect. Then I track this forward. This usually takes some minutes, depends on the length of your footage. Then after tracking was done, select any track and add null object. Day four scene setup day four was about setting up the scene for people who can't import video to Prisma 3D due to low performance of their device. I import a snap picture for my footage, then I add a ground plane. After that, I import my car's model to fit the scene. Day five animation on day five, I started animating the cars and scenery. I used a combination of keyframe animation to create a smooth, realistic motion. After that, I practiced some natural floating movement with this method. Then I apply this trick in the animating process, giving the magic of this animation style. After I'm done with my animation, I start applying the texture and some material setting Then I add ground plane shadow catcher for a nice perfect looking render of the animation. After that, I start adding some lights to fit and match the real life lighting similar to the footage for perfect result. Day six rendering, I decided to render only my animation on day six. But since animation rendering take a lots of time and this depends on the machine you're working on, having high specification device will speed up render time. So I'll click on render tab right here and I adjust some settings, then I hit render. Day seven, final touches on the final day. I go back to a view editor where I track my camera earlier and I compile everything to the null object and camera track I made earlier. And after that, I add sound design. Then after I export my video, this is what we got. And that's it. My floating cars animation is complete. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at my creative process. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more animation content. Have a nice, sweet day.